How's everybody doing this morning? Good. Hurry up. Welcome to Morning Song. We had a broken string, so we're <laughs> dialing that in and we'll be off in no time. Yeah, that's right. It's funny that the string should break right here because um, several, several years ago we were playing during, uh, it was actually during Dance Musicians Week, so it was close to around this time, and there was about, I don't know, probably like 20 of us on the stage. And um, we were all just playing and having a good time. I can't remember if we were practicing or maybe it was Friday and it was show until the end of the week. And um, I was sitting next to a really nice woman named Sherry Lowe who comes here a lot. And she's a fantastic um, fiddle player. And she was almost where Corey's sitting now, just a little bit back there. And we were just playing along, having a great time. And all of a sudden, this huge pop. And he was loud enough for us all to hear. And we kind of... Ooh, we stopped, you know, what's that sound? And her bridge had just collapsed, just blown out and fell down and actually come off of the instrument and went just kind of whoo behind her. I'm lucky, it, we are lucky it went behind her, you know, you could put an eye out. And she said, man, after she got done being terrified like the rest of us, because it sounded like a gun going off, it was so loud. Because all, the only thing that holds this bridge up is the pressure of these strings, it's not glued. So you do something bad here and it can just, you know, collapse, and she picked it back up, and amazing, it was in one piece, it wasn't broke, and she loosened her strings, and she put it back up, and we just kept playing, but um, that's the really the only other time I've ever been anywhere playing where someone popped a string, or a situation like that, and it's just funny that it almost happened in the exact same place, so I think, yeah, so, yeah, so maybe next time we'll just start moving down the stage, um, no, I think we're, I think we're good to go here. I think we'll go ahead and get, get started here. Sorry for the delay, but it's crazy. You never know when these things are going to happen. No, I, I've actually never had a, um, had a string break like that. I guess there was, there was probably perhaps not enough slack when I put them on and the tension was just too much. But there's a first time for everything. It happens, so that's all right. That's pretty good. Mine stays in tune pretty well. Too bad. All right, Corey, let's, let's play my song. Do to start out with? Let's do it. So we'll start out on a fiddle tune, and it's got a funny name. It's called Old Yellow Dog Come Trotting Through the Meeting House. <laughs> we call it Yellow Dog for short, and it sounds more believable. Let's play that song called Yellow Dog or Old Yellow Dog, but Old Yellow Dog Come Trotting Through the Meeting House kind of sounds like you're making it up, but I kid you not, you're not making it up. That's true. <laughs>
said that is such a fun little tune and we learned it here, I guess. I think we learned it here. Um, I feel like all of the fun tunes I know how to play I learned here. <laughs> Gotta tune this string. New strings stretch and stretch and it's good to play them, let them set, play them, let them set. You do it all day long before they kind of come into place. I gotta say it's interesting having a, a middle string that's new because they all really sound dead now compared to the new You got string. one really, really sharp, really crisp. That's okay though, I was gonna change them in the next couple of days anyway, so I'm one string ahead. One string ahead, how about that? Um, let's do, you wanna do your sunshine? Yeah. This is a good one. I commented earlier when we got here, I'm like, you know, I usually get up about this time. Usually I open my eyes at 6.30. I may get up at 7, but it's something about going to school all those years. It's just I can't erase the time we had to wake up, 6.30 in the morning. And anyway, we got up, we got here before we broke the string, when we were all smiles. <laughs> and I'm like, it seems so dark outside. Um, is it going to rain? And I was talking with T. Claw and he said, no, I just, I think it's just, you know, I said the same thing, but it's just, just, that, just this time of day, the sun isn't up yet. And I'm like, I feel like I should know that, what's going on, that I don't know what season it is or what we're doing. So, since I'm still thinking it looks dark outside, and I'm thinking it's probably just the, that time of morning, or could be cloud cover as well, seems darker than usual, we're going to sing a song about sunshine. So, um, to forget about what, why I think it's so dark outside. Um, anyway, I think you'll know what it is, so you can sing too. Yeah, sure. Well, let's do that one. 
So this one is is more more uh, what would you call it? The direct opposite of what we just played. Yeah, <laughs> this is, has a little bit more attitude, maybe. Yeah, more attitude. That's good. yeah, that's a good way to describe this song. Um, this one also has a funny name. It is called "Grabbing Old Man, Grumbling Old Woman." Um, it's kind of like a call and response. So once you hear it, you'll probably you know. Yeah, kinda, there's a low part and then a high part, and it kind of fits that title of yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm stuck with using this. I had had a last little tiny sliver about that big of my favorite rosin, and I left it at our gig last night. And I said, I'm not gonna drive ten miles up the road for a piece of rosin this big. I'm just gonna have to forget it. But I did leave it there. Shame on me. You're breaking strings. I'm leaving my rosin everywhere. What do we do? We're falling yeah. apart. But we are gonna just play the song. Hang in there. Okay. because it's fun to play and you let it get faster and it kind of runs off with you. It's like one of those songs you listen to on the radio and you're on the highway and you look down and you're like, I'm speeding. This song makes me feel like I want to I'm speeding. Slow this down. Song Turn the song. Speed. Yeah. That's not a good excuse. I don't think that'll get you out of a ticket. I don't think it will either. Here's the song. I think you better change your cassette tape. My car plays cassettes. That's how old my car is. <laughs> and that's why I like it. I don't want to get rid of it. I have a nice tape collection. So I want to keep my car. It plays the radio the CDs and the cassettes. Um, I did tear the antenna off though quite some time ago, so we don't play the radio anymore. It'll play WKRK, it'll play your local AM station, but it ain't gonna play nothing else. So you got your CDs and your tapes, and occasionally my car, um, the player there eats the CDs, so sometimes it's just the tapes, <laughs> the cassette tapes. But lucky for me, I have, you have, to I have lots of cassette tapes. Yeah. And then now they're making cars without CD players. Mine, although about 10 years newer than yours, is still 11 years old. Um, and it has a, a CD player. And it has a six-deck CD player. You can put six CDs in it at once. And I'm like, why don't Pretty they rad. make all the new cars like this? That's the best thing about it. You that can do car. Bluetooth. You is can do it? the stuff with your phone. Yeah. You can do that with mine, too. But you have to use a cassette to do it with an auxiliary cord running through from the tape <laughs> to your phone. Um, and I don't do that either. My car is, let's see, 20, 21, 22 years old. It's almost as old as I am. And I'm still driving the thing. I won't get rid of it. I'm holding on to it. It's a Toyota. Those things will go, go, go. That's right. They'll go forever. Speaking of going, Corey. Yes, that should have given us plenty of time to come up with a song. Mm -hmm. It should have. You want to do that? Yeah, I'll do that. Let me make sure the D string's not... No, it's kind of nasty, I'm sorry. We tune because we care. We don't want you to have to listen to out-of-tune music. We may play out-of-tune, and that's shame on us, that's our fault, but at least the instruments will be in tune when we start. 
It'd be a user error, but instruments right. would be good. Usually I play for like at least 30 minutes or an hour before, before the game ends. So. Yeah, I will too. I'm lucky though. These strings are relatively new. Several months, but it's the same. Alright, here you go. Should I just stop in the middle of the song? No, it's too late. You made your choice. If you start out of tune, you just have to kind of it does. go I'm with it. I'm probably too picky, but it drives. I cannot stand it if just one string's out of tune. It just bugs me. I hate it. I can't, especially being the only guitar. I just feel like it's so obvious and <laughs> sounds so bad that it's I just, I, it's got to be in tune. All right, I think if we hurry, we can do two more. You want to do a fiddle tune? Yeah. Time? Hey, if you're going to do something, you might as well do it. Do it good the first time. So let's play this song, and I'll play it good the first time. What number are we playing? <laughs> it's in the key of D. Why don't you take a guess? What's happening there? Yeah, I said, ooh, that was close. About being close enough, and let's see what my fiddle has to say. Hmm. Hmm. 
I'm telling you, I don't always play this fiddle. Sometimes it plays me. All right now, hey, listen here, I'm the boss. Here's your intro chord, you know what we're doing? All right. through the square. We didn't do that. We played it about three times. And there's a lot of songs I love, but I don't know if I love anything enough to play it 16 times straight. But I love when people dance, so it's fun to do it then. I think we'll just squeeze one more in here. Um, thank you again for hanging out with us and being understanding as we started here with our broken guitar string. And thank you guys for helping us out with with figuring that out logistics-wise, we need to carry extra strings, and that was the lesson for this morning. So we're going to do one more here. Um, Corey wrote this song actually with a man named Peter Siegel from Brattleboro, Vermont. Um, and he's a really great guy, a really great musician, and it was actually some years before I ever heard the song. It was actually several years after they... Well, we, we, we did perform it, but then several years after we heard it again, Corey was like, no, I don't know. And, and she said, we're going to pick this song back up, and you're going to sing it instead of me. And I said, okay. So we've been singing it ever since. It's about, um, it's about our lovely little town here called Brass Town that we are sitting in, all of us together. <laughs> and, um, yeah, we are on Facebook. We are on Instagram. We are on YouTube as the Presley Girls. We're out there playing music, telling funny stories, and just hanging out in Brasstown. So if you haven't got enough or you're not running scared by the time this is over, um, we brought a few CDs and cards. They're sitting up here behind us, and we'll play a song for you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, guys. Here's your intro, Corey. I wasn't ready, sorry. <laughs> I was fidgeting. It's a false ahead. start. That's okay. Here we go. <laughs>
Back in the mountains, where's your no time you wait?